ready for the opening possession. Russia and US, they've squared off twice in the history of under 18 competitions in the World Cup of 2017. US won in the World Cup of 2019 in the pool. US won again. Team United States currently unbeaten. Playing against Russia. Will it stay the same? Are we going to need to rewrite the history? Kyra Rice. Her answer is no. One and nothing. Michaela Williams firing right away. Michaela. She's a serious player. Great touch from behind the arc. A lot of U.S. supporters in the comments as I see. Rice. Another deuce coming from Team USA. Russia battling hard. They're going to need to battle as hard as it gets versus this physical Team US. Rice making a cut. Loses possession. Both Barker and Patterson, they're standing at 187. Janai Barker, top-ranked player in this team, 20th in the United States of America. Now here we go. Great play. Russia executing, and it's on display. Kristina Safkovic getting that a go. Can play with your back to the basket for more than five seconds. That's also a rule in 3x3. Michaela Williams, she faces up, goes for a layup. Bukurova trying to get it inside. She's a good shooter from outside the arc as well, but Team USA not allowing anything easy. Okay, out of bounds. She stepped on the baseline. Great job against Peterson. Patterson, I'm sorry. Veronika Luganova, starting possession. Ah, it's denied big time. Ayana Patterson coming up with a defensive stop. They turn it over right away. Barker was on the line. It's a very common turnover. We're playing in half court. It makes things a bit different. It makes things exciting and fast paced. At the very same time, Barker fouled. Second for Russia. Kyra Rice. Ready as always. Russia's going to rely a lot on outside shooting in this ball game. Kyra Rice takes it to the rack. Safkovic. A baseline drive. And she stopped illegally. Savkovic looking to blow by Williams. Williams, craftiest scorer of the team, I would say. Only 16 years of age. Bakurova gives it up. A huge block again. Patterson is sending it all back to Moscow. Got a whistle. Second whistle going. Going against Team USA. It's a turnover. Russia, not so far behind. They don't want to fall behind. Not only do they need a win, they got to drop 20. On Team USA, US picking up their third foul. The boys team of the United States having some problems yesterday. Picking up too many fouls. 
Another call. Two minutes through. Bokurova inside through contact, won't score. Smallest player of this Team USA is Kyra Rice, 182. So they've got the size, they've got the physicality. Team Russia. Veronika Loganova, number 31, standing at 174. The others kind of tall, so it's a great matchup. Markarova, 182. Safkovic, 183. Yezikova, 182. And they're good shooters from outside. The height makes it easier to get it off in this case. Otherwise, you would have to create a lot of space versus this team that's defending well. It won't go. Russia needing those deuces badly. Kyra Rice takes it to the rack. This time it's a no-go. Safkovic, she turns it over. U.S. reading all those plays, and it's an unsportsmanlike. Team Russia doing a bit too much right here. Falling on top of Barker and hitting her head. Two shots right away. That's how pricey can get. Got to be involved, but not too much. Otherwise, you're going to have some problems yourself. Russia. Creating some for themselves right here. Barker sent to the stripe. Russia with only a single point. Two and a half minutes through. Barker knocks it down. Coach loving it. Janaya Barker gets both to go. Russia with possession. Bokurova going to Hakeem on you. It's a foul. She won't be able to convert. One shot coming up. Four fouls for Team USA. Russia, they had two. There is an unsportsmanlike. Two fouls are called. That's the thing with three X, three rules. US, an offensive foul. Free throw not converted. A moment before, Russia still down by four points. But they have a chance to cut into the lead a bit right here. It's Luganova. Three seconds. She tries to go for his pin move. Won't succeed. Great defense. Michaela Williams staying in front all the way. We're gonna have our first TV timeout. Russia, they need 20. Otherwise, even if they win, they're not through. Or they need a 10 point W here versus Team USA. They better start firing. They better get buckets. Patterson, one of the reasons why they're not getting anything here. Uh, Patterson making a statement there. Russia not even trying to score much from inside. After those two blocks, Barker facing up. She drives to the left, draws a foul. Russia with five. Janiyah Barker. First warning. Next time it's going to be a technical. U.S. 
They've got Russia by their throats. Free throw missed. Bakurova fires right away, won't be able to get it. Russia higher seed, the Team USA, but it's based largely upon activity of teams. Russia with a lot of youth and 3x3 basketball activity in their country. Could have been a foul right here. 16 fouls already. It puts the United States in the bonus. They can't put a free throw in. Michaela Williams, a deadly shooter, won't be able to get it. Bokarova, she's not bad of a shooter herself. But it's way off. Michaela Williams kisses it off the glass. It's Bokarova. Russia. Quick solutions needed. They miss another one. Did not touch the rim. And the shot clock ticks away. The U.S. personnel, the coaching staff, loving it. They got a good reason, too. The performance of this team, USA is unprecedented so far in this tournament. They're unbeaten and they're looking to repeat their success back in 2019. Team USA went all the way, both men and women. Another missed free throw, so many presents. Sent to Team Russia. Russia with 17 fouls already. Very tough to stop the Americans without fouling. Russia going to keep possession here. Team USA looking like a clear favorite to take this one home. Overall, beating Belarus 19-13, a very talented young Belarusian squad. Beating Slovenia 21-7. Ah, this shot goes. Kristina Savkovic. The author of the only two points of Team Russia here in this ball game, Michaela Williams. Three seconds to shoot for Team USA. That opened things up in day three of the under 18 World Cup. Beating Mongolia 21 8. Russia getting better and better as they kept playing in this tournament. Refs explaining how things should go from now on. There's a lot of contact recently. 12 fouls, five minutes and 44 seconds of action. Still to go. Patterson, clock ticks away. No new 12 seconds there. Russia, they beat Slovenia 20 to 19. They were leading by a lot. Try to get 22. Didn't. Let Slovenia come back. They beat Mongolia 22-2 and lost to Belarus 9-22. Kristina Savkovic looking for more. No good. Barker steps back. Firing from the corner. It's extinguished. It goes. Can Russia revive the drama? Nadezhda Yazakova puts it in. Michaela Williams. Looking for an answer. Only the net got better. The U.S. situation didn't. After this very play, but Team U.S. still looking like a stronger team here. Bokarova, my goodness. 7-6. Russia coming back. They're on a 4-0 run. And a foul is called. Team Russia has a lot of problems with those fouls. Nadezhda Yezikova, excessive contact there at the baseline. And it puts Barker at the stripe. Very important for Team USA to convert those free throws. They haven't been very successful at it recently. Barker gets it a go. Janiah Barker.
Bottoms up. It's a 9-6 ball game. Bokurova fires another one. Russia needed it badly. He won't go. Kyra Rice. She's on the left wing. Rice dribbling. Losing the handle. Want to shoot. Kyra Rice able to float it in. It was a very tough shot. On the brink of a turnover. Safkovic will not go. Kyra Rice. A step back as Janai Barker fires. A second chance opportunity. Barker leaves her behind, crosses her, and lays it in. Nasty move by Janae Barker. Safkovic looking to go all the way. She was stopped in her tracks. Kyra Rice blowing by. No go on the first attempt. Kyra Rice getting a second one. Patterson through contact won't get the bucket. Team USA gonna have another chance. First of all, TV timeout. Russia. 4-0 run. The score was 7-6. Now it's 11-6. US answering with same amount of points. 4-0 run for Team USA as well. USA, the heavy favorite. Can Team Russia compete against them? It's a question that remains to be answered. Another important question. If Russia can win, can they get 20 points? That's what they need. Otherwise, a win is nothing. Only pride for this Russian squad. Hits the front of the rim, and it bounces off. Barker. Was she the one to throw it away? Again, let's take a look. Janae Barker. Hey, it goes the other way. She was the last one to touch it. Bokurova with the check. Bokurova tries to beat Patterson. Unbelievable defender, but she picks up a sixth foul for the United States. Three minutes and 17 seconds for an impossible mission. The team rushes on. Bokurova Russia's in the bonus now. Bokurova from the low go, no go. Kyra Rice. It's Williams. Sending a screen to Rice. Handing it off. It won't go. Can Team Russia get the rebound? Yes, they can. She releases it on time with no opponent in front and she gets it a go in the dish the Yazakova. US finding an answer in just a split second. 13 to eight it is. And it's a push off. An offensive foul. Bokurova can't believe it. As the hopes are whittling away. Here's Bokurova, Kyra Rice in front. Are the teeth still there? Looks like it, Kyra Rice. Patterson. Double team coming, Kyra Rice with a chance to knock it down from behind the yard. Shot clock violation. Barker saved the ball, but it wasn't enough time. Two twenty. Yazakova 
Try to give it to her inside. Russia going to keep possession. Six on the clock. Kristina Savkovic. Savkovic. He has the cover with the screen. Savkovic drives all the way and she takes it to the rack. Savkovic. Play like that is very hard to come up with when you're playing USA. It's a near ball for Janai Barker. Yezakova. It's a foul. Team Russia winning an unsportsmanlike, but it's just a foul. It was a spectacular fall. Simple push coming from Michaela Williams. Two shots. That is what Russia gets. Got to be happy with it. You got to convert. You got to convert. Both teams over the limit. She sinks the second one. Russia down by three. U.S., they need to clear it out. And they lose possession. Got to pay better attention. Let us know who you support in the comments. It's a closed game. Pretty much the closest one for Team USA as Russia's whistled for a foul. It's going to be two shots in United States possession. Tenth team foul for Team Russia. Those are the rules of FIBA 3x3. A dunk contest will follow right away. We're going to have a qualification. It's still a shame that number four from the States, Patterson, won't be participating. She can throw it down in a warm-up. And she does it with ease. I've seen that myself. But with three throws go, and Patterson is only 187. I mean, she's tall, but there are taller players. A great drive through the baseline, a reverse layup. Kristina Savkovic makes it a four point game. It goes the other way. She stepped on the line, Michaela Williams. A minute and 20 to go. Russia going on a mission to save the day. Anastasia Bokorova gets a great pass and gets the foul. Team US offering too much contact in this very play. Two shots coming up. Can Bokorova knock them down? Can Team Russia make it a two-point game? Bokorova. It's the bottom of the net. Ah, the wind is blowing. Bokorova makes the second despite that. A two-point ball game. Patterson. A lot of contact as the opponent falls on the floor. She gets it a go. Bukarova not able to hit. Once again, Safkovic falling. U.S. getting the rebound. Less than a minute remaining. It's crunch time, ladies and gentlemen, as Patterson misses from point blank range, but takes advantage of a second chance opportunity. Bukarova. Russia and U.S. They're in for a thriller. Double team and yet another foul called against USA. Being physical is good. Not necessarily with eight fouls already in your pocket. You can just let Russia score one point in each and every of possessions. That's one of the options that would some teams do on a high level. Bokurova misses the first free throw. 
Team Russia. It's a shame that if they lose, they're going to be out of the tournament. A shame, really. They are the ones competing against the United States the hardest. Belarus, not a bad game for them as well, as well versus U.S. It was the very first game of the tournament. 13 to 19, Belarus losing that one. Can somebody compete against this U.S. squad? Pool B, they're going to face off against the team from Pool D. That's going to be either Hungary or Estonia. A Hungarian-Estonian matchup coming up. The home team is going to be playing. They can secure the first spot in that Pool D avoiding Americans 17 of 14 Russia still looking to climb back but six points looking like mission impossible in that short amount of time it's Bokarova now they need an overtime they can score 20 in regular do they have that in mind Rice misses team Russia with possession a foul is called my goodness now, if you are Team Russia, they're going to have possession. If they can get both free throws to go, a quick deuce lets them advance. Bokorova at the stripe. But if she misses the first one, I mean, sink the second one. Hope it goes well. If you make the first one, that's one heck of a thing to solve. If you believe you can get a deuce right away, make it if not go to overtime try to get three points in it if 8.5 seconds is enough do it right now the only thing the russian needs is a deuce or a foul and two more free throws what an unbelievable scenario team russia battling in this game versus team usa and the coaching staff is concerned Team Russia interacting with her coach and getting Warren for a tee. Usually you get a tee right away in this kind of a situation, but the refs understand what it's all about. Team Russia exploiting the patience a bit. My goodness, Team USA letting Russia come back in Russia using the power of will and using those deuces to come back. A lot of fouls called in this ball game. 10 fouls apiece. Russia needing a deuce. Nothing else does the job for them. A foul is called. My God. My goodness. Can they get 20? Can they eliminate Team Belarus? Six seconds to go. Still plenty of time for Team USA to find an answer. It's Bukharov at the stripe. Sinks the first one. If Russia can get the second, they're through. They can let the United States score anything they want. This second free throw does the job. Russia advancing from Pool B if they don't lose in those six seconds. But they have the ball. They have the ball. It's not going to happen. Team USA. Oh, the fan of hearts here. The champion of hearts. Whatever. I can't even pick the right words. Team USA. They're through. But they're shaking their heads. Russia doing something unbelievable. It is the greatest comeback of the tournament. And the greatest upset at the very same time. Russia. 20 to 17, U.S. way too much contact and they pay for that. Russia advancing in the second spot. Either Hungary or Estonia is going to be their opponent, but we have just witnessed something spectacular. It looked like an unbelievable scenario. Team Russia had to win and score 20. That's exactly what they do. In this game versus Team USA, 
and USA is no joke if you want the scores. They went on to beat Belarus 19 to 13. Slovenia 21 to 7. There was Mongolia's turn 21 to 8. Russia 17 to 20 and it's team Russia taking this one home and going to the quarterfinal. It was impossible, but they did it. Team Russia completing the mission impossible. My God, the whole venue cheering for Team Russia in the end pretty much. I mean, what an effort, my God. Those girls deserve it all right now. Team USA seemed impossible to beat. And they were impossible to beat throughout the first three games. Tons of talent on that team. But they lost it themselves. Too many fouls, way too many fouls. Russia they started playing that smart basketball down the stretch, avoiding unnecessary contact. U.S. defending as hard as it gets. But that was too much. Sometimes, you just got to let them score. U.S.